Hey guys, how are you doing? Okay, so this is um, the actual design of the website. This is probably what you've been waiting for, but those other steps are so very important, talking about branding and fonts and colors, text and, and whatnot. All right, so let's say uh, these are the, the templates you're going to pick one out. Let's get going here. All right, so here are like, what do you do? You come on here and say you don't like it here. You want to move it. You just basically grab and go. This is really like really easy. Say you want to change the fonts. There's different ways of changing the fonts. Let me just move this over. You on the website would set it up ahead of time. Um, remember we talked about websites. Most of them are going to have three or four fonts at most. So you're going to set it up ahead of time. Here's your H1. That's going to be the, the largest of the header. You just select it. And then from there you determine what font do you want to use. And there's tons of them in this program. Um, I can go on and on. Remember, I love scripts, but at the bottom line, the bottom line is that they're sometimes difficult to read. So just be careful of that. Make sure whatever you're um, picking out that, you know, is, is easy to read. So that's one way of changing the text. The other way would be... Um, you did the whole website, but you just like this one area, you just kind of want to change a little. You just right click. Um, you could delete this whole section. You could do different layers. You can um, duplicate it, right? That would be one way. So let me show you just as far as uh, deleting it, just right click it. That's fine. And now um, you say to yourself, well, I don't like this one area. I want to change this a little, right? So you would just go ahead and um, you just hit new style that's going to sorry that's going to allow allow you to um, go on text you're going to hit new style because remember this was already set with the h1 the h2 we set that up ahead of time so we're going to hit click new style you'll be able to change the fonts and you'll also be able to um, change the type of font right here so if you wanted to make it fun and is there like usually comic is pretty fun comic sans um, this has to do with branding right like this looks like it's sophisticated nice so then you throw something like that and it doesn't match right like that's why we talked about branding before and try to go with the theme and the mode um, is it going to be fun and whimsical like sugar was or is it going to be more sophisticated so let's keep going here. Buttons. Buttons are a great way to like know more. This would be going off to another page on your website, right? So you can go ahead and kind of just move this around any way that you want. Um, if you don't like this image, you go ahead and just change it. You just right click it and change it. Um, this whole area here you can just like grab and move over and you can move the picture over so it's really easy you get down to you know you want the image over here but you want this part over there it's again very easy to do you get down to the site and you can change any of the icons say you don't even like this you know we'll get to an area like some people don't like the counters it's kind of busy so all you do is you right click and you could just delete it. This whole thing is a banner. You could put images on it. You can put text on it. Um, lots of different things that you can put on it, but you can just go ahead, right click it and doop, delete it. Now with that, because it's a banner, now you have some empty space. These are the testimonials. Just grab the whole thing and move it up so that there's no empty space, all right? And if you wanted to add a banner, we spoke about that, just from over here. Um, Let's take a look. Let me let me move myself out of the way. What can we add? We can add pop-ups. We can add text. We could do uh, auto funnel tags. We can do banners, boxes, buttons, images, a gallery, a menu, audio, uh, social icons. At the top, I don't recommend doing social icons. And the reason for that is people come on, they see the social icon like for Facebook or Instagram, like, ah, I haven't checked that. Uh, let me get off the website. So you don't want them doing that. If you're going to do it at all for their follows, do it all the way at the bottom, okay? Um, contact forms so people can contact you. Um, email marketing apps what type of apps do they have um, sales funnels checkout so and a blog blog is so very important and the reason for that is because in order to increase your search engine optimization for a website you should have a blog you should be publishing to it weekly and when I say you I mean your webs you know your owners your business owners the ones that you're working with encourage them to do that because when you upload 
images. It allows you to, like, say you want to be a dog owner, um, a dog trainer in Phoenix, you would write dog trainer in Phoenix on the image and upload it. So when the um, spiders for Google are going through the websites, they see a lot of dog owners or dog trainers for Phoenix, and that's going to help. Same thing, you'll do blogs about a dog trainer in Phoenix and all the services and, and what dogs may like. And those keywords that you're going to research ahead of time could be sprinkled throughout the blog. So blogs are really key. All right, so that's a blog. Let's talk about the different apps. Um, you have buy buttons. So if somebody wants, you know, if you're doing an e-commerce store on here um, or you just want to sell one's product separately, we have on this platform a whole e-commerce platform. It's called Magento. It's it's like one of the top in the industry as far as I'm concerned. So if you're selling something, if your business if your business owner that you're working with has wants to do an online store, it's easy to set up and it's just you know it's called Magento. It would go right on this website. You know, you do a website and then you would um do the store as well. All right. HTML code. A couple of reasons why you may do HTML code. When you embed a video, like from YouTube, you can do HTML code there. You can also um, take a, do a webinar on it, on, um, and you would get an HTML code after you set it up. This platform allows you to do webinars. You can um, post right into like a group, like a Facebook group, and do like a live stream into that or a live stream into YouTube. So you could do e-learning courses. That you could do yourself. Say you learn how to do websites and now you want to teach a course and you want to sell that. You can put together a whole course, put it on a website, and then sell it. You, that would be like in a membership area. You would add another layout and kind of, um, you know, someone would have to pay first in order to get like a password or um, register first in order to get into that section of the website because that's a paid section. So that's e-commerce. Um, you know, if you're a restaurant, you could do like an online. So we spoke about that. What else can I tell you about that? The shopping cart, blog, um, different ways to like set up like uh, coupons and lots you can do with this. Text, and let's just talk about pages. Okay, so what does every website need? Every website needs a home page, right? It should have an About Us page, as far as I'm concerned. It should have a contact page. It should have services, what the products and services are. So those are all set up for you, all different. You know, you just have to click on it, and it will bring you to another page. Notice the testimonials here, so that's good. Um, there's different pages that you can go to and this is about us and just same thing you just change it all however you want to change it definitely email um, subscriptions are so very important you want to put something rather than just a news newsletter something catchy if you wanted to add buttons um, let's see like uh, let's see something that's really important to an email marketing form now it can be changed up any way that you want but remember What's what's the purpose of the website? We spoke about it in that first lecture. The purpose of a website is basically what's what's your message? It has to be very clear. You're trying to engage people, right? So you just don't want them to come to the website once and leave. Just take a look. Oh, nice, pretty. They leave. You want a, a couple of things that you can do. Grab their email. Offer them something. Could you offer a discount? If you're a restaurant, offer a discount coupon. Um, you know, so that you're on their email list and then you can send out email campaigns. With this program, you get an autoresponder, which is really nice. You would set it up ahead of time. Someone will give you their email and you would set it up that you have like maybe just say seven emails going out to them, one each day or four emails, one a week. Um, and you would set up it ahead of time. You can put blog posts in there. You can put videos in there. You can put articles, uh, anything pertaining to your business, um, you know, different, even social media posts, um, you know, what was spoken about on social media that they may have missed this week. Lots of different ways to like fill this email to engage. Think about the emails that you open up. Why do you open it up? Do the same thing for yourself and do the same thing for the business that you're working for. Engage people with those emails like with nice headlines and information that you know would pertain to that business that you think is going to encourage someone to open up the email. And then again, you want to offer them something that's called an opt-in, something that is going to allow, um, that will enable them to give the, your, give you their email. 
right? So there's different ways that you could do it. Any of these ones here, they can all be changed. This one may go with this um, because it's darker colors. And again, you just right click it and um, so you right click it. They want you, <laughs> this the warning came up because I have to attach it to a list, right? In this platform you want, once someone gives you email, you don't want it just to sit there, right? You want it to go to a list so you can would configure it and then um, you that would allow you to put them on a, a different list. So that's all that that is. You can uh, change the appearance of the button. You could add other buttons, um, enable capture, lots of different things you can do, but that's the whole point of doing this. And again, this should be on the website if you... Um, want to do it as a pop-up you certainly can do that so um, you can make it smaller there's lots of things that you know the ways to engage the other thing that I wanted to show you and then we'll get back to some search engine optimization is let me go incognito actually we're going to go to my website and do you remember I was telling you about how I have always just um, geared to, a, to women and so my website unfortunately is a lot of pink and I, I definitely will be redoing this so this is a couple things do you remember I spoke about that HTML code earlier this was I created on on the back end it's with an HTML code that I put together very simply it's called the browser notification so you may see this on websites before Facebook does um, notifications sometimes on that upper right side you'll see like a little flag come in like you have a Facebook message or so-and-so replied to you or whatever it is so you want to collect emails and you want to engage and this is one of the ways that you would be able to engage by if someone says oh yeah I want free training that's good I'm going to enable it and then you'll have access to when you do a blog post when you're going live when you have a video you can allow them um, you'll be able to do a push notifications so that you'll be able to keep in contact with them say for instance you're a restaurant and you had lunch specials you can you know push do push notifications at 11 o'clock every day um, so that people know what your specials are, something like that, all right? And then the other thing that I use with an HTML code is my site bot. Um, the, if you're able to create a website, you're very you're able to do all of this. And this is what I mean as far as um, you know making money. You can work with other businesses because other businesses don't have time to set this up. So this is a site bot. I, I say I'm pretty transparent. I say right from the beginning I'm a site bot, but do you want more information? Sure, you know, let's just run through this. What's your name? My dog's name is actually um Katie. So let's write in Katie. Sorry, I have a and then if I do that. Um, and this could be moved to any place on your website that you want. So it says, nice to meet you, Katie. Would you like some information on, you know, tools to grow your business, designing a website, making money online, texting or speaking with me? This is, goes right to an opt-in. It allows somebody to put in their email. So remember I talked about you want to collect emails right from the beginning, from day one. Encourage your business owners to collect emails. It's so very important. I wish I had done it earlier. Design a website goes to a video, but all these can be linked off to different pages in your website, to different videos, um, to a landing page. If you're trying to sell something, you may want to give them a little bit more information and then they can buy it. Um, and tools to grow your business. So lots of different ways that you guys can use the HTML code and tools on this platform. There are a ton of tools. So uh, let's get rid of that. Let's go back to the website and then we're down to, you know, um, the, the footer and stuff. What else can you do? Right from the beginning, you guys should be working on search engine optimization. What do I mean by that? Well, we spoke about any images. Any images like you're going to have testimonials, right? Testimonials should end up on a website. So when you go ahead and you change the image, when you upload an image, it should have those keywords that I mentioned to you. So um, about the website itself, let's see. There's ways that you could... Um, Upload a favicon, you change this again with your keywords, the title, you add a description. And um, this is important because when you are, um, you've seen this before, when you're on, when you do a Google search, you you see the different choices, right? And then you see those first few lines. This is how you would set it up, is by just, you know, adding the description there so that your keywords 
um, will be recognized, but also provide great quality information that's going to say, you know, say to someone, yeah, click on this website because I have the information you're looking for. So, and then each of the um, pages themselves can all be set up. Like say we want to do like the services page. We'll take a look at that. Um, that's going to allow you same thing. We're going to click on that and at the services, we're going to turn that little wheel. Sorry, I'm always clicking faster. Same thing, you want to use all keywords in there, title page, use a description, uh, keywords, and this is what I mean here as far as like what Google is going to say. Um, you're going to do words, and then we're going to um, update it. And that's where, you know, basically anything that you type in, Google is going to see, and people are going to see when, you know, your website comes up or when, gosh, <laughs> when your business comes up. All right. These scripts here, why are they here? Well, uh, also for if, like, if you're running ads and, and whatnot, let's go to the first one just so that you guys understand. Uh, and this is all the different templates on this platform. Depending on what platform you're using, all they, they have pretty much similar things, but this one is just so easy to use. And I think that they offer a ton of tools, like I mentioned. So if you're doing like Facebook ads, if your uh, customer wants to use Facebook ads, there's a pixel. So that's the Facebook pixel. You would put it in there and that would um, allow the pixel to determine who's coming to the site, where are they coming from. If you're doing Google Analytics, which I strongly recommend, right from the beginning, you should be determining um, you know, who's coming to your website. And Google Analytics is a great way to do that. So you do a creative in Google, and that's going to allow you to, do, um, to put the script in there. And what else can I show you? So as far as designing a website, there are so many things that you can do. Remember, a lot of this is going to be right from the beginning. The fonts, the colors, the images. You're going to make this in Canva. You're going to upload it. If you want to do videos, um, like say for instance, and I wouldn't recommend this in here. Do you remember we talked about in the beginning having sliders up at the top? You certainly can set this up as a slider slows the site speed but say for instance later like uh, lower down you wanted to do like a video background here you can set it up that there's a video background you can either do a video and then put a filter over it and upload it or you can just um you know you could go on to pixabay they have some of the videos and and to youtube too they actually have some videos that you may want to look at you'd have to give a create it's called creative commons like it allows you to use it but you also have to give a credit for where you're using it so that's kind of a neat thing to be scrolling down and seeing a video and I mean, it's a little different than like a YouTube. I strongly encourage you should have a YouTube video when people go on your website, like an introduction. Uh, you know, hi, this is Sharon from Dr. Business Builder. I help others, you know, entrepreneurs build their businesses and increase their online presence. You know, do the elevator speech, do a nice um, video you or your business owner that you're working with should be doing that. Um, but there's tons of different things that you can do with this program. That's it in a nutshell. Please reach out to me when you have questions, put comments below. Um, there's a lot you can do and it really, you're not limited. You know what is really nice too is that um, if you wanted to do other, like say for instance, I'm going to duplicate this. You can grab another image and put it on top. With other programs, you are truly limited about where you can put it. You could add in um, like a plugin, like on WordPress to do that, but it gets confusing because some of the plugins don't work with other plugins on the site. So that's um, that could be a problem. That being said, I will tell you that WordPress is actually coming to this platform because so many people like WordPress. Um, so this platform will be able to host WordPress as well if you're a WordPress user and you just don't want to give up your site. But personally, I like the site builder. It's just... Um, I, for me, I'm not limited at all. It's so much easier to work with. So I hope that we covered a lot in the last hour. I hope that you guys have liked this, okay? It's a long video, but really it's so very important just to get in there and start. There's so many ways that you guys can make money online. What I wanted to go, and I can certainly do another web, um, videos, take a look at my YouTube channel. You guys should um, subscribe to that because I'll be doing videos like this that can help you um, increase your online presence and also make money online. All right. This all this is 
you guys there's so much on YouTube I can help you walk through it it's a great platform but let me just tell you about a couple of other things with the platform you're able to do e-commerce which I mentioned you're there's a magazine editor and you've seen those before like if you've been on a website and there's like a sales um, sales going on like a magazine where you just keep on clicking and it, it clicks like different pages there's going to be a directory as well say for instance you're in um, I'm in Dix Hills right now and we want to know like all the Dix Hills barbers well you can put them all in a directory I want to know all the, the pet shop owners in Dix Hills that can go in a directory and then what you could do is actually sell you know ten dollars a month to be featured on the website however you want to do it so you make a website you put the directory on that and then you go around and you sell that and that's like the sky's the limit you could go into different countries different cities towns really the sky's the limit what else can I tell you about it um, there's different tools on this and I think what I have to do is stop because there's just too much but there's tools like for, for analytics such as like when someone comes on your website they're looking here there um, is that called click uh, click <laughs> there's a way to like click it there's ways to do your own videos on here you can do animated videos you can do floating videos like see how I'm kind of floating in here um, you know you would do like a on a green screen and then what that will allow you to do is um, you know put myself in here but like um, not, not so much in the rampage but just myself and you know so if you had something that you wanted to explain or even do a slide presentation and then put yourself down there that's a floating video animated videos you can do video wrappers where you put a wrapper around a video that's on this platform so that's another thing you can sell so maybe somebody doesn't want a website but you can help them with their social media posting which I mentioned in another video but you could put a radio video wrapper around it and that will allow you to um, you know basically um, how do I say it kind of customize it with their website and what they're known for say if they're a dog they, they clean dogs or the dog trainer lots of different dogs you know like say this is the video here lots of different dogs all around and then you know the, the website down below so lots of things that you guys can do um, as far as I don't have the ability that's just a bunch of crap you guys can do this so that's a lot for today I'm done I'm going to go have um, just relax for a little bit but really if there's comments questions please do me a favor put them down below and I will see you guys all right um, I'll be answering them and I hope that you learned a lot again if you want to give me your email please do that I'll give you um, I'll be sending these videos out and I'll provide some other information as well all right see you remember these videos are only going to be up until 10 o'clock tonight and then they're all coming down all right guys take care of yourself and thanks again um, for watching and I hope that you got something out of this thanks bye-bye